just me and my guitar Hey everyone, this is DJ from DJ's Tutorials. Welcome to part 2 on how to make your own custom Cody build. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get your new backgrounds for your new Cody custom build. Alright, now there's different ways to get the backgrounds for your Cody. The easiest way will be to go on your computer, do a search for images, and then copy them to a thumb drive or if you don't have a thumb drive or I'm sorry I should say if you don't have a USB port on your box let's say you're using a fire TV um, you can use one of your drives like a Google Drive or OneDrive copy all those pictures in there and then we're going to transfer them over to the box using ES File Explorer so one of the things you're going to need is ES File Explorer you can get that from the Play Store now before we begin, once you're going to be looking for pictures, what you're going to look for is pictures that are 1920 by 1080. So if you want to do just random pictures, let's say pictures of movies that are like not just one theme, you're not going to focus on one movie, let's say, then you just do a random top movies 1920 by 1080. Or if you want to do your build as a theme, then you search for that specific theme that you're looking for if it's a movie or TV show or a video game or whatever that will be could be just pictures of nature it's a choice whatever you you want your your Cody to look like do a search for that specific thing and then just download some pictures put those in a folder and then we're going to transfer that folder over now once we go in here in ES File Explorer if you go to the left side and scroll down now if we click on on the first one that says home and we go to the right you can see in here it says cloud drive if we click on that move your remote to the left scroll down go over where it says view and then go one up now in here it says log into Google Drive that's highlighted if you have a Google Drive account you can click on that to log in if not press your remote once down and it says log in with other cloud drive now it doesn't look like it's highlighted but trust me it is click on that and it gives you different options in here so if you have a Dropbox or a OneDrive you can select either one and then log in from there if you click on let's say OneDrive it will give you the screen to sign in and once you sign in you will see the folders that you created under that account all right if you do have a USB port on your device then you scroll down here and you can see I already have a, a little thumb drive plugged in if I click on that click on open then you go down to the right side click on that and I already have a folder called backgrounds if I open that up you can see in here I got different folders so I downloaded different pictures for kids movies TV shows and etc so this what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back one long press on backgrounds and then go to the left go down one and click on copy in here I'm gonna go to the left again go up I'm gonna click on the second home and then go to the right scroll down to where it says pictures and as you can see there's nothing here so now we're going to go back to the left scroll down and click on paste now this will paste the whole folder of backgrounds you could have done one folder at a time but it's easier this way so now once this is done we can go back out As you can see, let's go back to the home, scroll down to pictures, backgrounds, and you can see I got all my folders in here with the pictures. Okay, so let's get back out to the main screen. So now let's go into Cody.
Done. So now in here, the first thing we need to do is go to System, Skin Settings, set up the AM Nox main menu, click on that, and on this side, you have to think of what do you want in here and what do you don't want in here. So a lot of these we can just delete and then it starts from scratch. Or you can just leave them the way they are and just we're going to customize them from there. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to keep the movies, TV shows. Actually, let's remove all of them so that way we can do each one fresh and don't have any problems in between. So click on delete movies, TV shows, live TV, sports. Alright, we got favorites left. You can leave that. So this, these are the ones that we need to leave. Uh, power. You still have power under a system. But we're just going to leave that the way it is. Apps, you need that because if we go over to sub menu you can see in here it's got all your shortcuts for your mu music add-ons video add-ons you got the add-on browser so we're just going to leave that so it can be easier for now so let's go back out all right so now that we're here you're going to think of what your build want you want your build to be like so we're going to click on plus plus and plus so we're going to go with the first one and in here, let's think of the first thing that we're going to do. So we want a folder that's going to be for movies. So I'm going to click on here. And we're going to type in movies. And once you're done, click OK. Then go to the next one. Same thing. This one will be TV shows. next one click on that this one we're gonna do sports okay back here let's add another one and let's say this one will be live TV okay um, now a lot of you know have probably an IPTV service and that's going to be a little tricky so I'm going to put that in there so you can show you how to do that if you do have one. So we're going to call this one IPTV. Click on done. Alright. So now we got our menus here. So we're going to start, let's say, let's move this down. that next to system all right so we're gonna start with movies so we're gonna move to the right side and I go down where it says select background we're gonna do a single image now you can do multiple images or you can just do a single image that is a choice click on external storage we're gonna go down to the folder where it says pictures backgrounds and since we're under movies we're gonna click on movies in here you're going to scroll through your pictures that you have and you're going to find one that you want and you're going to say okay which one we're going to put let's select this one go back out let's give it a moment to build the menu again now, every time you do a change in here you will see this the, the pop-up saying building menu it's got to save everything so do just a few at a time, two or three things at a time. Come back out, check it out, see how it looks. Let it build the menu again. That way it doesn't have too much to do. Sometimes it may crash on you. You know, if it's way too much, like if you're doing the whole menu bar and keep on adding things right away and never check it out, it may be putting too much to it. All right, so we're gonna go into movies. As you can see, we have a picture here that we just changed. Now, if you wanted to have multiple images, so it keeps on changing every few seconds a picture, 
we're going to go back to the main menu under skin settings set up the Anox main menu under movies make sure it's highlighted go down to select background select multi image external storage pictures backgrounds movies now as you can see we don't see any pictures in here and the reason is that since it's going to use all the images that are in that folder there's no point of showing it to us because it's going to show all of them before when we did a single image since you have to select it and decide which one you want it has to show you the images so you can pick which one you want so in here we're just going to click on ok and let's go back out give it a moment build in the menu all right so let's go back to movies and if you give it a few seconds you're going to say it's going to change to the next image and usually like if you move over and come back it should show a different one now there's a setting for this and how fast it changes them the pictures so if you go back to skin settings the main menu uh, we're gonna go window it will be silver extras now you see over here it says set background rotation speed so it says it's five seconds if you click on that it starts from five and it goes all the way to 90 seconds so now you decided how fast you wanted to scroll through the images if you want to leave it at five or six or seven you pick the speed and select it all right let's go back so back to the main menu set up now we're going to go to tv shows go back down select background single image or multi-image external solid drive pictures backgrounds down to tv shows and if you're doing a single image just select which one you want to use and then just click on OK and you selected that image so now we're gonna go back to the left go under sports if you have sports of course select background single external drive pictures backgrounds sports okay same thing you want live TV, IPTV, apps, system power. Let's so go under power, single image. All right. Put that one. System. So let's go back out now and see what we got. Let's go and build the menu. And there we go. So now we got our sports background. You got your TV shows. And the movies. We didn't put anything on favorite, so it still shows the default background. Go to power. System your apps and the ones that you haven't put anything obviously is going to show the default background okay now other thing you can do in here so if we go back down to skin settings set up the Anox main menu 
so now that let's say we're under movies if you want the sub menu items to show you a different background when you highlight it you can click on manage sub and in here as you can see let's say you have unwatched if you go down to select background a single image pictures backgrounds where the movies Just click on one it's time consuming because you've got to keep on doing all these steps to get every single picture okay so we're just gonna leave for two so if we go back out give it a second and build the menu again all right so now if we go back to movies so we still have the multi-image for the movies now if we go down this one doesn't it still has the menu um, the backgrounds from the movie menu but if we go over to in progress it will change it to what we set there and go on watch it will change it to that so that's another feature you can use um, if you wanted to have that that's a choice I'm giving you the options here it's how you decide to do your build so if it's all a theme you're gonna go by the theme and decide your menu bar and all that all right so I think that's about it how to install backgrounds it's really not too complicated like I said it's a little time-consuming there's other options in here that you can't use yet so if we go back in here and if we go back down to select background as you can see we got some random movie fan arts and all that like backgrounds most of these work with add-ons so we don't have any add-ons yet we're going to do that next once you install some of the add-ons then these can be used too if you want it but for now we're just doing the basic menu backgrounds all right one other thing we can do in here is to customize the menu bar so as you can see in here we can do skin colors and all that so if we click on this we need to download an add-on for this so let's click on yes and once it's done now you can click on choose skin color we're gonna go down to home window and if we want to change the menu bar color you can click on that all right now if you go to the top this is your basic colors if you click on go on the top where it says color palette basic click on that and go down where it says web colors you're gonna get a lot more colors in here now you may need to use depends on your device if you have a mouse or an air mouse or a keyboard with a touchpad on it it may be easier to use that than try to move around with um, the remote for some reason it has problems or it kind of like sticks so let's see if I'm gonna select the color let's see this one I like blue that's my favorite color so now I'm gonna go down click on save okay and then the system bars are the ones on the top um, I'm gonna change that to and go on the top up colors and let's see I would I'm gonna put a red we'll try this one all right so let's go back out and this is how you change 
the colors of the menu, the menu bar, and the system bar. So the sub menu, that's the red color that we picked. Now, of course, we can change the color of the one that highlights each one. You can change the font colors, how the ones are highlighted and the ones are not highlighted, what color those are. Same thing if you go to skin settings again. Choose skin colors. And as you can see in here, focus sub menu, unfocused. Same thing with the unfocused main menu and the focus main menu. So if we click on the main menu, it's white right now. If you want to change that, we probably can stick with this one. I'll do a yellow for now, see how that looks. Go back out. And this is how it looks if you change that. So this is like different options that you can use. Go back. Is there something else in here? Okay. Um, all right. So I think that should do it for now. I mean, it gives you different options here. You can play around with the colors. Um, anything you like. You like the specific colors, try different combinations, see what you like, look, you know, check it out first. If you like what you want, you know, you click on back to this. So as you can see, there's a value down here. If I click on that, if you, if you like the specific color, it will be good to write down the value. So put down the FF003399 that's the the code for that specific color so instead of going through like if you're playing around and trying different combinations of colors and you found a color let's say like i like this blue color when you go back up and even if let's say you select the rainbow it's going to give you all the different colors in here different way of viewing the colors so once you find a few colors that you like, instead of trying to figure out, was it, let's say, go down here. So go over the blues. Let's say, was it this one, this one? Did I go there? You know what I mean? So instead of doing that, you can just come down here, type in that num the, the value, and it will put that color right away. And you can do that with any color. For whichever part you want to do so if you went on the menu bar and you had that specific color that you liked write that down once you're done checking out other combinations if you didn't find anything better you just type in that number the value and it brings you back to that color same thing for the system bar the unfocused focus and so on so that is how you add your own backgrounds and customize the menu bar try it out let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you have any questions i will try to answer them as soon as possible in part three we will install some of the add-ons and place them on the menu bar and customize the sub menu well that should do it for today if you like my video please click on like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that i upload thank you for watching this is dj till next time just me and my guitar.